everyone, it's Albella and thank you for joining me to read this book. Today this book is called The Destroyer by Tony Bradman and Jonah Tronic. Max's Mission Log We are travelling through space on board the microship Excella with our new friends Nock and Seven. We are on a mission to save planet Exis, Nock's home planet, which is running out of power. We thought our mission would be over when we had collected four fragments. But it was not to be. In our last adventure, we arrived back on planet Exus and not tried to reform the core. It didn't work. We learned that there is a fifth fragment. Our mission isn't over. Only the king and queen of Exus, Nock's parents, know where the final fragment is hidden. So our first task is to find them. They have been taken prisoner by a space villain called Badalore and his army of robotic crawls. Badalore wants the power of the core for himself. Chapter 1 Bad law ship. Five figures appeared on the teleport deck of Bad law ship, the destroyer. They stood for a moment, their minds still full of darkness. Max, Cat, Ant, Tiger, and Nock gazed around at their unfamiliar surroundings. The light from the teleport gave the room a sinister yellow and green. Below. Only seconds earlier they had been on planet Axis. They tried to reform the core of Axis. It hadn't worked. There was still one fragment missing. Only the king and queen of Axis, Nox's parents, knew where the missing fragment was. But they were being held prisoner on the destroyer. Back on planet Axis, the last thing the children had seen was their friend, Seven, being hit by an energy ball. Crawl One, the commander of Bad Law's army, had blasted him out of the teleport beam. Seven hadn't made it on to the destroyer. We must go back down to Exus, cried Nock. Seven needs help. We can't go back now, Nock, Max said gently. Bad Law is still down there. He could teleport here at any second, added the cat. Tiger was already pulling some wires out from under the control panel. I've disconnected the teleport up. That should stop Bad Law for a while. The only problem is that we can't teleport off the ship now either. We'll find a way when the time comes, said Max. He knew he had to be brave, even though his stomach was gurgling like the pipes around him. First, we need to find the king and queen. They can tell us where the fifth fragment is. Then we can defeat Bad Law for good. Chapter 2 A Narrow Escape Ant was studying the control panel. If I could access the ship's computer, I might be able to find out where the king and queen are. I can't do it from here though, he said. I think we need to get to the bridge. Okay, said Max. Let's head there then. Tiger was about to reach for the door controls when he heard a rumbling sound in the corridor outside. His watch started flashing a red warning signal. Cruise, 
he whispered. Hide! They backed quickly into the shadows, just as the door hissed open. A lone hunter crawl rolled in. Its green metal body uncurled. Then it began scanning the room. Cat held her breath and squeezed herself under the control panel as the crawl scanner swept by. For a terrible moment, the scanner stopped in front of the panel. Then the crawl spun round sharply and began scanning the other side of the room. Suddenly, Tiger was revealed in the scanner's glare. Intruder alert! Screeched the crawl. Assistance needed. A deafening alarm went off. Whoop! Whoop! Tiger darted towards the doorway. The crawl raised its arm, ready to fire an energy ball. When over here, crawl! Max called quickly. The crawl turned, and Tiger sped out of the room. The crawl was now heading straight for Max. Up there! Shouted Knock, pointing to a metal grill in the wall. Max understood immediately. He pressed the button on his watch and shrank to micro size. Then he released the wings on his suit and flew up to the grill. Knock and Ant followed Max. And all three squeezed through the grill just in time to avoid the cool's energy ball. Phew! said Max. Across the room, he saw Cat run out of the door after Tiger. Chapter three: The Bridge. Max peered down a long tunnel. We must be in a service duct, said Knock. We must have them on the Excelsa. The Excelsa was Nox's micro ship. The ducks ran all over the ship. Do you think we can reach the bridge from here using the ducks? Asked Max. I think so, said Nox. Max and Nox made their way along the service duct, heading for the bridge. The sound of the alarm became more distant. Every so often, they heard a patrol of calls rumble along the corridors beneath them. After what seemed like a long walk, Mac signalled for the others to stop. Just in front of them was another metal grill. Light shone through it into the substuck. They edged forwards and peered down. Wow! It's a bridge! Whispered Anne. The bridge was lit by eerie green light. A sharp acid smell drifted from the pipes that wound round the walls. Computers hummed and screens flickered. In the middle of the room was the central station where Badlaw normally sat. Right now, it was empty, and there was no crawls in sight. The coast looks clear, Nox said. Let's get down there then, said Max. The three friends climbed through the grill, released their wings, and flew down. Chapter four. Crawl attack! As Ant reached the central station, he looked at one of the computer screens. It showed Cat and Tiger desperately running away from a patrol of calls. What can we do, Max? He said. Max's stomach twisted. Cat and Tiger are smart. I'm sure they'll be okay. We need to focus on finding the king and queen. The three friends landed on the main computer panel. Quickly, Ant set to work. Look, 
he exclaimed. A map of the ship. He took a photo of it with his watch. Then he pointed to the middle deck. It looks like they are prison cells. I bet that's where your parents are, Nock. Nock felt a little bubble of hope. Let's go, said Max, determined. He stepped to one side, but as he did so, he knocked a lever which slid backwards. Suddenly, there was a shrill bleep. At once, the door slid open and a cruel guard rolled in. It uncurled, ready to attack. Intruders, all crawls to the bridge. Fly! cried Max as the crawl moved towards them. The boy, the knock, took off and made for the ducks again. The crawl detected their movement and hurled an energy ball at the three friends. Not grabbed Ant and pulled him into the duct as an energy ball exploded next to him. Chapter 5 River of Goo Max, Ant and Nock started running down the tunnel. All of a sudden, another energy ball blasted the metal wall of the duct behind them. The explosion shattered one of the pipes. A bright citrus yellow goo sputtered out of the pipe and started gushing towards them. Faster! yelled Nock. They ran on. This way, said Ant, looking at the map on his watch. Ant turned sharp right where the tunnel split in two. Max and Nock shot round the corner. After him, just as the river of goo washed past and pointed to another metal grill. Over there, he said, breathing hard. Max and Enoch climbed down through the grill. They came out into a corridor lined with doors. And checked the map on his watch. We're in the prison block, he said. Not called out. Mom! Dad! His tiny voice echoed off the metal wall. Just then, a crawl rolled into view, blocking the end of the corridor. Another one appeared behind it. What now? whispered Ant. They heard a noise behind them. They turned round to see a strange green rat-like creature wearing silver armour. It waved its paw. It seemed to be beckoning them. They looked at each other nervously. Should they follow the rat? Could they trust it? I'll see you when I have another book. So, bye!